guests, directors of the various centers, heads of various departments, distinguished faculty, scholars, students, and participants. Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to all of you. I welcome you all wholeheartedly to this one day national symposium on the observance of World Microbiome Day 2022. First of all, I must express my sincere thanks to our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Nilofar Khan, for allowing us to organize this event and accepting our invitation within, within a short span of time. At the outset, it gives me immense pleasure to see this August gathering here on the eve of an inauguration of the World Microbiome Day 2022 celebrations where eminent scientists, scholars, and students will deliberate upon various dimensions and contours of the importance of microbiome. Most importantly, we will be having a series of invited lectures by the eminent scientists, Professor Swanjit Singh and Professor Shakil Ahmed Wani, and I am highly grateful to them for accepting my invitation within a short span of time. Every year on uh, 20, uh, 27 June, World Microbiome Day uh, celebrates the achievements in microbiome research as well as the important role of microbiome in human and environmental health. Microorganisms are found everywhere in the environment and play a leading role in countless natural processes. These are the first living organisms on Earth uh, that have been around for at least 3.8 billion years, that is 80% of the Earth's 4.6 billion year history. Humans have always confounded on the infectious view of microbes, but instead they should celebrate them because of the vast beneficial and positive side of these tiny microscopic wonders. Generally, microorganisms have cast the bad reputation only because of few of these which are responsible for causing pathogenic diseases such as tuberculosis, malaria, cholera, AIDS, the current uh, ongoing uh, pandemic that we have recently faced, AIDS, measles, and many others. But harmful microbes, while important, are only a tiny percentage of the total microbial diversity. Majority of microbes are harmless to humans and have some uh, immense, they are immensely beneficial as well. The role of organisms in therapeutics, nutrient cycling, food production, and agricultural production would grind to a halt without microbes. It's pivotal to mention that if we collect all living material on Earth and weigh it, half of the accumulated biomass would be of microorganisms thus contributing to an incredible metabolic and genetic diversity. I would like to reiterate that no ecological process would occur without the direct or indirect action of microorganisms. Thus, for acknowledging and expressing our gratitude towards the microbial community, we will be observing this event in full swing. Additionally, for raising the awareness about the importance of this subject among the students, scholars, professionals, and industry, this event will surely pave a way for dissemination of the knowledge pertaining to the importance of microbiota. Globally, microbiology is at boom right now. It's pertinent to mention here that microbiology is a skill-based course and has varied applications in health sector, industry, agriculture, waste management, food technology, and many others. I hope that our concerns and expectations are met so that the subject of microbiology gets a proper platform to sink in. Thanking you in all as to, in anticipation. I hope all will have a great time ahead. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much for inviting me here and giving me opportunity to be here today. This is my fourth visit to GNK, but first visit to your university. So I'm very happy to be here with you. I wish you all a very happy Microbiome Day. Today is the new year of microbes, all the beautiful microbes we have in this world. Microbes are very important for us. They are in our gut and all over the skin, all over the body. They help us in digestion and make vitamin B vitamin B12 and vitamin K, which is very important for coagulation of the blood. They protect our skin right from the face till our toe from bad microbes. Microbes are frontline warriors on the skin, on the face. Our skin cells are the second warriors. 
So first, the microbiome protects our skin, protects our face, and the whole body from infection. Microbes also can fight cancer. This is the current research going on. On 23rd June, four days back, Nature Journal reported the largest bacteria, which is one centimeter long. So the word micro is not pertinent here. Very big bacteria, one centimeter. It was found in the Caribbean Sea, in the Caribbean islands. Therefore, we must conserve microbial diversity. We must conserve microbiome. Thank you very much. Uh, I must say uh, that our cord has been instrumental in getting environmental science, am I right? And getting instrumental in microbiology department in the university. In my mind, this, you know, uh, my mind is very clear that I want to consolidate the programs, the departments which are already existing in our university. Uh, environmental science and department of microbiology is one of them. And uh, at my level, at the administration level, whatever is to be done to consolidate these two departments, we'll definitely do it. But as I say, I'll do it one by one because uh, all of a sudden I cannot do everything at a time. Everything has to be done one by one. We'll definitely, uh, you know, uh, build this department together and make it visible at the national level. And I know that it's a very important department. Professor Swaranji ji was just now telling me that uh, they want to have an MO with our uh, department through this, uh, with our university through this department. We'll definitely do it and uh, uh, try to collaborate and uh, collaborate more at research level, uh, doing more activities which are uh, very important for our society and for our uh, students. I know uh, the uh, Center of COD has always been very active. I know it very uh, personally and uh, always busy in the research. I know that, uh, you know, uh, COD also needs some attention for its consolidation. We'll definitely try to do that. and. Uh, try uh, to see how we can uh, again uh, help to make this department more important and uh, where we can have uh, more research. <laughs> Whoever the directors have been uh, at COD, I know uh, they have always tried to have the research uh, of societal importance and the research which has importance at national and international level, they have done remarkably well. And I'm sure that in future also, uh, they will add to the, uh, you know, uh, visibility of our university at national and international level. With these words, I once again congratulate the Department of Microbiology and our uh, Society of Microbiology uh, government of India for uh, collaborating and organizing this particular program. I hope uh, you have very good recommendations and these recommendations uh, please send it to me also and we can see how we can implement it and make this department more visible and more viable. Thank you very much. The Center of Research for Development, the only NABED accredited center in Jammu and Kashmir. We are going to establish first wildlife forensics laboratory, conservation through science and innovation laboratory, Koshi lab in the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir under Quad University of Kashmir. Madam, we have completed all the formalities of MOU in this regard with the partnership of three prestigious national organization, CSR, CCMB, Hyderabad, Atal Incubation Center, CCMB, and IKP Knowledge Park, Hyderabad. 
the major objective of the center is to encourage cooperation coordination and teamwork across boundaries of departments and faculties of the university and laboratories of center and state government so as to identify various problems related to the overall development of the state try to suggest or develop measures techniques for the mitigation and develop new techniques and make improvement in the already existing technique right from its inception the center has quite active in establishing a multidisciplinary and interinstitutional research base has made considerable progress in the research area like lake conservation forest ecology fisheries development medicinal plants wildlife conservation micro propagation and conservation of plant microbiology biochemistry molecular biology and cancer genetics special contribution of the center is to impart training to officials scientists of other state and center institutions like lauda fisheries departments central silk board and pollution control board conducts water analysis of various samples provided by state government agencies like state pollution control board lauda public health engineering and nitc nagar microbial testing of different water and floor samples also from the coming august or september our wildlife forensic will be ready for dna fingerprinting and dna fingerprinting service from cod our center of research for development upholds the ethos and values with science knowledge and technology of the modern education we inculcate in the scholar and students the habit of lateral and innovative thinking reading habit research orientation decision making capabilities along with nurturing and developing physical and mental strength to sustain and excel under any situation finally i would like to conclude my message with a quotation from sami vivekananda we want that education by which character is formed strength of mind is increased the intellect is expanded and by which one can stand on its own feet thank you everyone for joining this national symposium thank you